I rolled a 21 on initiative. Let's get to blasting, boys. Why do I always roll like garbage? I got a four. I know I have a 10 for dex, but this is getting stupid. Your job is to sit there and take the hits anyway. I rolled a 14 for mine. I got a 20. Who wants Mies to use up the rest of the charges on this wands? Just make sure you aim it at the enemy's droop, or maybe Don, I rolled a 17. Barack, you're up first. You're towards the back of the marching order. From your point of view, it's hard to see what's ahead. However, I can say you do see the bellows connected to the blast furnace just ahead of George, along with the cackling green flame of the flame skull. With the mining equipment in the cavern ahead, you can tell it will be hard to move around. Given my position, I'm going to hang back, but I'm going to go ahead and cast Shatter right on the Flame Skull. My intent is to hurt the thing while at the same time potentially destroying the Bellows and Blast Furnace and maybe taking out an enemy or two. You can definitely do that, although George may get caught in your blast. Yeah, I can take the hit, Barack. Go deal some damage. All right, with George's blessing, I'm going ahead and cast it. That's 17 thunder damage with a constitution saving throw DC 14, taking half damage on a save. I just met it. 14 on that saving throw, taking eight damage. You send a thunderous shatter into the cavern ahead with a loud bang. You see the machinery splinter and fragment apart, sending bits of metal and wood across the cavern. Three zombies and the flame skull were within the range of your shatter. All but one zombie failed the saving throw, taking the full 14 damage. Droop, you are up next. I'm going to take aim at that fucking flame skull. I'm going to use my bonus action to Hunter's Market and then shoot at it twice by using Dread Ambusher. Joe and George are ahead of you. If you botch a roll with a critical failure, you have a good chance of hitting them. In that case, I want to move past my allies and be up next to George and take my shots. I rolled a 28 and a 26 to hit for both attacks. Assuming they all hit, that's 16 damage from the first attack and 10 from the second attack after adding up all of my damage bonuses from Dread Ambusher and Hunter's Mark for a total of 27 damage. Please tell me I get this one. With one damage to spare, you take the Flame Skull out. Want to describe how you do it? Fuck yes, I do. I get all cool-like and pull out two arrows from my quiver and put them both on the string at the same time. Magic swirls around my two arrows as I let them go flying off toward the Flame Skull. The arrows swirl and orbit each other as they fly towards the Flame Skull. The arrows hit and the skull just shatters, sending green flame outward before quickly vanishing. 